are watching George Schlackek, the one, the one and only. only. Hello and welcome. Are you doing your own maintenance work on your bicycles? Have you found yourself turning your bike upside down to make simple adjustments to the drivetrain or change a wheel? I know I have, but those days are over. I now have a fully adjustable bike stand that allows me to do all my maintenance work with ease. The best thing about it is that I built it myself from readily available and cheap materials. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how it was done so you can build your own. I'll show you the idea. See, this is uh, a sketch that I made. And we're going to my shed here. Uh, as you can see, the door is kind of a uh, little bit up in the air. So I was gonna make a step there for it. And then on the step, my idea is I wanna build a stand to work on my bicycles. See, I have some leftover wood in the truck that is just perfect for that. And I think I have everything here. It's all treated wood. See the way this is uh, where it says 16 inches, you see there's see kind of like a hole there. Well, they're gonna be two pieces like that parallel to stabilize the frame. And basically you could put the frame in there because it's 16 inches away from the pole. It'll allow me to work on the bike, oh, even uh, set up the, the gears and do all that good stuff. And it's gonna be right there. It is 15 and 1 8. So this one, I'm gonna cut it the same size. I'll make a nice line here. This is gonna be noisy. Let's just take a look here. See, I got four of these boards. They're all about the same length, 40 inches. And I don't know, I'm not sure about the height yet. I thought I was gonna make it just a two by six high or tall. Right now, I gotta call it quits. It's supper time and also it's Edmonton. It's raining again. It's raining every day here. Heat wave, not here. <laughs> First, I'm going to decide where exactly this thing is going to go. I have to remeasure the length of all my steps here. Yeah, they're just about 40. And the door with the uh, framing is 37. 37 minus 40, or 40 minus 37, is 3 inches. So I got an inch and a half on each side, which makes this super easy because these ones. They are exactly an inch and a half thick. So I'm just going to make a mark on either side. Yeah, the mark should be down below, but uh, this is easy. So there's something to start with. Yeah, the other side, see I made a mark there before, that's probably going to come up a little bit. This is the box and uh, those three boards over there, they're going to go on top here. And then I have to just put wood under there to shim it so that it's uh, supported properly. And I'm going to do that right now. Just showing off what I did here. I just supported the outside of my step with uh, those pieces of 2x4 and some shims. I will 
fill this in all around with a little bit of gravel so it's supported better. Now I'm going to put a, a bike stand right on the corner here. It's a little close to the door, but I'm going to leave it like that because the screen door can be open when I work on the bike or closed. And so I need a bike stand right here outdoors. That's what I'm doing. To screw down into the deck, I'm going to use two and a half inch deck screws. My shed now has a doorstep. What do you think? And what I wanted to show you is this is how it's going to go. I'm going to attach it down there to the step and then somewhere around where my thumb is going toward that door frame right there. There might be some bracing added later on to uh, reinforce this even better. But then, uh, see, then I have a fence board here, and this is going to be the actual surface that will receive my bike stand, the way I designed it in my mind. In order to make that clear, I just have to install all this, and then I'll explain it further. I'm gonna go and cut this, I'll be right back. I don't really care what height you have. Drill here, screw. That's already looking pretty solid. I think I'm going to put a cross brace there later on. But now, for now, I'm going to put my fence board on there like this. It's almost flush with the top, which is exactly what I had in mind. Now, these, these aren't the best boards for that kind of stuff. But they're treated, so I don't have to worry about them rotting away after a winter. But see, in my job as a professional handyman, I work with this kind of wood quite a bit. And sometimes I end up with leftovers, and this is a great way to use them up. This is another fence board. I'm going to cut off a foot off of it. I'm hoping a foot will be enough. Then I'm going to cut off two pieces of this 2x2. Two two. They're each going to be 16 inches. Alright, I managed to cut this using this hole saw. So the other one, I'm going to just line them up like this and it should, it should work much easier. I'm probably going to get another clamp. Alright, just to show you what I'm doing, I'm going to screw this piece onto that board using a drill. And then the other one goes the same exact way right about there see and then we have to apply some bracing and a piece to clamp it at the top and that'll make up my bike stand pretty much keep watching now it'll become more clear at the end of the video see the idea is this that this has got bracing and it should turn out pretty solid I got two pieces like that now the next step is to put those on and then see if it needs a piece between here to spread it apart just evenly probably wouldn't hurt but at the same time I want this piece to be fairly light <laughs> the camera looked away I'm trying to cut this out so that I can use it as a top piece to clamp down on my bicycle stand on the frame. Forgive me for the shaky, lousy video footage. 
I hope the idea alone will keep you captivated. Now I'm going to drill a hole right through here and it's going to be a big hole, three-eighths of an inch. The idea is to put a bolt in there and then apply a wing nut so I can clamp a bicycle frame on there. See? I can clamp this on there. Here's something where I'm kind of really lucky. This is from weather stripping that is used for doors. It's a part that I often get with weather stripping and I don't use. So it comes in very handy here because I value the paint on my frames and with this in there, I don't run the risk of scratching them. From this I'm done. This is what I came up with. I'm going to put a bolt through there and that is going to hold my clamp in place. I can use either one of these. I'm going to put holes in here. Right down the middle, every six inches. That's to attach this thing. And this thing there is going to get a hole right through the middle. I guess you understand how this is going to work. Hang tight. Alright, see those holes? This is the key piece to our bike stand. I'm not going to leave it outside when I don't work on bikes. It can be stored in the shed. I see it can be attached here. Like wherever there's a hole. And then uh, put my bike on there. Secure it with a clamp. Tilt it if I have to. See, this is like pretty much as good as a park bike stand. And uh, it really didn't cost me anything because it's the kind of material that I end up with anyways. Now, I got my bike stand. Now you can build yours. But before you click off, I'm going to go to the hardware store, get those bolts. And then I'm going to show you what it actually looks like with the bike on it. All right, I am presenting my creation that I have uh, today. See, I can swivel this by loosening the wing nut. Mind you, it is uh, with the bike on it, it's actually a little hard to do that. The trick's gonna be to learn how to work with this. I put it facing down a little bit like this. Now I could work on my derailleur here. That's my height, my uh, bottom bracket. There's uh, another adjustment, a hole that's a little bit higher up. And then there are, there are other holes where I can lower this to work on other parts of the bike. I think it turned out pretty good. See, I'm clamping it with this. Just one side is clamped, that's good. I'm really happy and you know, I need this bike stand to assemble the bike that I'm building. So the idea is to be able to do that right here and put the camera close by so I can demonstrate a whole lot of stuff. Not only will I be able to do all our basic maintenance on the bikes right here, this stand will also allow me to make better videos demonstrating certain procedures, adjustments and assemblies that I would have been embarrassed to show on camera before. Because, you know, bike all over the place, parts on the lawn. You might be interested in some of the videos I'll have coming up. For example, I'm building a 1980s road bike from scratch, from used parts. The plan is to show every step of the way right here. So do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button. And then while you're at it, do me a favor too and hit the like button. If you'd like to know more about my bikes and how I use them, check out one of the videos on the screen. And I'll see you next time.